Well, g'day everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, tonight we are doing the heat treatment on our little custom knife. Uh, now this is 1084 steel, which is 10 series carbon steel. It's a much easier heat treatment. There's our first step. We're just warming up the quench oil, which is a canola oil. It's just a piece of mild steel just to warm it up with. Now this is a lot quicker process than the 12C27 stainless steel that I'd done in an earlier video. Um, basically for the carbon steels, we're just gonna bring it up just past non-magnetic. Um, so a little bit past non-magnetic is the critical temperature. So we're just warming it up, we'll get it up to that non-magnetic and then we can quench it. And down there you can see where the magnet is attached to the side of the forge, just makes it easier. If I've got it right there, it's in between the forge and the oil. So as I pull it out of the forge, I can test it and then go straight down to the oil. Okay, it's nice and glowing red, so I'm going to take it out and test it. Non-magnetic, beautiful. Straight down into the oil and it's just a little swirl of motion just to help it lose the heat quickly. And then we're across onto the aluminium quench plates. One plate on top of the other. Um, as I stated in the other video, this helps me to keep a nice straight knife. Um, it doesn't warp when I cool it this way. You only try to quickly straighten steel one time and you learn that that's not the way to do it. So putting it in the quench plates just helps to keep it nice and straight. Okay, and we're just going to tighten up the clamps, a bit of a lever, just to help keep it in the right position. I don't mind putting some force on it while it's in the clamps, it's limited force, um, but yeah, only while it's in those quench plates. Okay, it's had five minutes to cool, and we're just going to undo the clamps and pull it all back out again. Okay, there's our hardening done. Now it is very brittle at this stage and you do not want to drop it. The steel can actually shatter if it hits concrete at this stage. Okay, and we are inside and it's time to scrub up and get the oil off. As you can see, I had a few that I was doing at the time. Some are stainless steel, some of the carbon steel. Uh, but because of the different ways they're treated and the different tempering and that sort of thing, yeah, I'll do them together, but then they get separated back out for temper. And the big thing at this stage is I just want to clean off all the oil and gunk, just so it's not baked on in the oven. Okay, just turning the oven on, and we're going to 200 degrees Celsius, which is about 392 Fahrenheit and just gonna let that warm up. Okay, we're up to temperature and into the oven we go and it's the blades are just gonna sit there for two hours. So, here we go, two hours and off we go on the timer. Okay, and the timer's going off, so flip off the timer and just pull the knives out of the oven. Uh, still gonna leave the oven on at this stage and just let the knives come back down to room temperature before we go in again for the second tempering. Okay, and back in we go again and that's gonna go on for yet another two hours. So we've got two lots of two hours at 200 Celsius or 392 Fahrenheit. And there's the second temper completed, so back out of the oven we come and they are all good to go. We just let them come back down to room temperature and they'll be right for me to grind as of tomorrow. 
Well, there you go. There they are, all heat treated and tempered. They're ready for grinding. So that is our next step, grinding the bevels into the knives. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Please hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit that little bell notification so you know when the next video comes out. And thank you very much for watching, and bye for now.